one of project Euler. If we list all the natural numbers below 10 that are multiple of 3 or 5, we get 3, 5, 6, 9. Uh, sum of these multiples is 23. Find the sum of all multiples of 3 or 5 below n. Uh, below n means n is not included. So let's just write our test case. So for of uh, 15, 15 should not be included, so answer should be 3 plus 6, now uh, there is also 5 plus 6, then we have 9, then we have 10, then we have 12, and then we don't have 50. So this should be the answer, uh, which should be 3 plus 5 is 8, 14, 23, 33, and 45. Similarly, for 16, the answer should be same as above, uh, but then we add 15 also. So that should be 60. Right, so we can test using these test cases. And also, we are given one more test case, which is uh, 10. So that should also already be there in the given test cases. But we'll just write it down. For 10, the answer is uh, till 9. Answer is 23, and they have also given to test. And for n is equal to 100, we get 2318. All right, 2318. So we will test our solution with these inputs. So we are given n. So uh, this question uh, we can solve using this observation that let's say we are solving it for uh, a number like 30. Uh, let's say we are solving it 31 uh, so that we also have to include 30 and i'm choosing this because 30 is uh, a multiple of uh, both 3 and 5 so let's look at the multiples of 3 and 5 separately so 3 we will have 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 and 30 and for multiples of 5, we'll have 5 and then 10, uh, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Right, so we will have these two. So we have to sum all of these. Uh, but the issue is that we will actually get uh, some numbers duplicated. For example, 15 is duplicated, uh, 30 is duplicated. Uh, so in this case, also 15 and 30. So basically, multiples of 15 are being duplicated, right? So this is the observation which we want to do. Uh, so now the solution will be simply the sum of multiples of 3 uh, below a number, uh, then sum of multiples of 5 below a number minus uh, the sum of multiples of 15 below uh, that number, 15 and 30, because that is being repeated. Right, so this is uh, simple. So basically, now we know uh, the solution is to return it or print it. So the answer will be uh, sum of multiples of sum of multiples of three uh, below n. So it should not be equal to it. So I'll just subtract one. Uh, then we add, we will implement this function sum of multiples. And then we add the multiples of five. And then we just subtract the multiples of 15. Right, so this is our solution. Uh, we just have to implement the sum of multiples function. So let's implement it. So we have to, uh, get sum of multiples of k uh, which are less than or equal to n uh, now it is less than or equal to because now i have already subtracted one so it should be below the original n right so this is what we want to calculate so let's comment this out right so this is the function when we implement it it should give us the correct answer so how do i calculate the sum of multiple of k
So in this case, k will be 3, 5, and 15. So just let's just try to look at uh, multiples of 3. So first of all, uh, let's look at uh, multiples of 5 so that they are a little uh, less number. So we can count them uh, quickly. So how many multiples are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's look at 15. So those are 2. So you can see it is basically the uh, actually the floor of um, floor of n divided by the number whose multiple we are looking at. So basically number of multiples is just n integer division k. For example, below 31 also you will have 2 only. Right? For 15 we will have 2 only. So that's why integer division which is also floor. Right? So this is the number of multiples. Now I just want to get the sum. So how do I get the sum? So you can use AP uh, formula or you can do that kind of trickery because you know number of multiples, you know first term and you also know last term, uh, but with only first term and number of terms you can calculate that sum. But I will use a little bit of different trick, which is if we have n, n elements here, right? So you can actually write this as 5 into 1, comma 5 into 2, comma 5 into 3 and so on, right? So basically when you sum it, so 5, a multiplication with 5 can be distributed over sum. this one. So how many terms will be here? Uh, so this will be 6 and for 3 it will be 10, right? So this is what? This is sum of first n natural numbers and the sum of first n natural numbers is actually n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and this will always be an integer so you don't need to specifically do uh, integer division because one of them will be even, right? n and n plus 1. So that's it. So sum of this, this thing will be this one. And this is actually called nth triangular number or basically sum of uh, first n natural numbers. And then we multiply it with the, um, uh, the factor of whose multiple we are looking at. So that's it. How do, how do we get it? So sum of multiples is, as I explained above, we will calculate the nth triangular number. Um, which will be a triangular number n, nth triangular number, not nth triangular number, but number of multiples. So if we have six number of multiples, then we need uh, six uh, triangular number into k. So in this case into five. So we can just verify it uh, very quickly. So if we have to look till three, uh, the third triangular number will be one plus two plus three, which will be six. 6 into 5 will be 30. So if you sum numbers, 15 plus 5 is 20 plus 10 is 30. So that is how this is working. Now we just have to define this triangular number function. Triangular number, nth triangular number. And th that is simply n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Right, so you can do integer division, you don't need to because as I mentioned, I, one of n and n plus 1 will be even and it will always give you an integer. So that's it. So this is what our solution should be. So let's just run it. It is giving no response because we have to print the answer. Just print it and delete this line. Then we run this code. Uh, so it is giving correct answer. We can test again custom input as well as we know for 10, 15, 16 and 100 we know the answer. 10, 15, 16 and 100. So 10 and 100 we know it is correct. So for 15 and 16 it should be 45 and 60. Uh, the input format is first line should be how many test cases are there. So 45 and 60, uh, which is expected answer, I think, 45 and 60. So that should be it. So we can just submit this solution. You can clean it up a little bit. Uh, uh, 
so basically what we did is uh, we, ke- we summed the multiples of 3, summed the multiples of 5 and subtracted the multiples of 15. And how did we do it is, as I explained, we can distribute uh, multiplication over addition and this addition is sum of first n natural numbers which is also called nth triangular number. So that is what we are doing in steps. So I'll just submit it. So this is correct. Uh, and if you want to also solve the original project Euler, that is just below 1000, uh, which is also below 1000. So it cannot be equal to 1000. So we can just run it for 1000 and we can use that answer to submit there. It's a, it is 233168. Uh, so let's check it. So that is also correct. So we have solved first question of project Euler. Uh, th- that's that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.